Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I am going to start a uh, new series of uh, hot sauce reviews for the Angry Goat uh, Pepper Company from Jason and Roberta Parker located up in Bradford, Vermont. Now they have come out with a series. It's going to be four hot sauces in this series. Uh, two have already been uh, released and the other two are going to be available I believe later on this summer or possibly in September of this year. Uh, the series is called the uh, Forbidden Series and the first one I'm going to be doing is the Angry Goat Pepper Company's Hot Cock Hot Sauce. This is the first one in their Forbidden Series. Just really an awesome uh, logo on that. Check that out guys. That is one hot cock, wouldn't you say? All right, uh, now the uh, second one in their series uh, is going to be, um, you know, if you have a hot cock, then you're definitely going to have a sweaty beaver. Uh, so this is the second one. Uh, they are continuing with their animal themes. Uh, just awesome labels on here. So I would be reviewing this one later. Now the uh, this sweaty beaver is a uh, taco style uh, hot sauce that is made with um, super hot peppers and smoked maple syrup and cumin. Now I've said this before on other reviews that uh, Angry Goat Pepper Company is really on the cutting edge of uh, hot sauce making and flavor profiles. Uh, they are really uh, just producing some outstanding award-winning products. Now later on uh, with the third one and the fourth one, uh, one's going to be called the Horny Goat Sauce. It is a white um, sauce. And then the fourth one in the Forbidden series will be the Dirty Woodchuck sauce. And that is going to be a dark brown sauce combining chocolate habaneros and chocolate scorpions. So I'm uh, really excited about reviewing these for you guys. Uh, once again, uh, the Angry Goat Pepper Company. We're going to start off with the first one called Hot Cock. So let's go ahead and read what this one has in it. Let me uh, read it from the website. A little bit easier to read, but it is listed on the side of the bottle. They have this one listed at 11 out of 10 for heat. This is uh, Jason's hottest uh, hot sauce that he's made to date. It says, at Angry Goat Pepper Company, we make all of our products in small, handcrafted batches in Vermont. Hot cock sauce with, combines a blend of fantastic tasting yellow chili peppers and just the right amount of peaches to create a super hot yet flavorful sauce. This sauce will make you crow with ecstasy and your mouth throb from the ample levels of heat. Now they say to try hot cock on fi uh, chicken, fish, shrimp, ice cream, or anything else you can imagine. A forbidden series sauce. All right, now, uh, the ingredients on this one. Uh, this is awesome. We start off with Jay's peach ghost scorpion peppers, lime juice, Jamaican scotch bonnet peppers, habanero peppers, apple cider vinegar, peaches, agave nectar, water, yellow bell peppers, lemon drop peppers, yellow but jalokia ghost peppers, and sea salt. So that is it. Now check out this uh, beautiful looking yellow, smooth, and creamy consistency. Now what I like about what Jason has done and has chosen to do with this particular hot sauce is just really focus on the super hot uh, peppers that are in it, the flavor of the super hot peppers that are in it. So really when you look at these ingredients, it's really just peppers, vinegar, and um, uh, sea salt. Uh, just And then uh, just added a little bit of the peaches and the agave nectar uh, to kind of uh, round it out a little bit or maybe sweeten it up just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that is it. So I like the fact that he chose not to add spices. Um, you know, just doing something different, really wanting to showcase the flavor of the peppers. And when you get into this, uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute, but no garlic, no cumin, no coriander, um, no black pepper, things like that. But the only thing is really just the peppers, um, sea salt, vinegar, um, lime juice, of course, but, you know, a little bit of peaches and agave nectar to sweeten it up. So let's go ahead and get into this one, but just a beautiful looking color. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma for you guys. Now this is where you know this is hot. Um, you smell super hot yellow peppers. Or, you know, of course the Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion as well, but that's, you know, a lighter colored uh, pepper. 
the Jamaican scotch bonnet peppers, habanero peppers, um, but wow, and the yellow uh, butjalokia peppers, you just get a blast of super hot smell. Now, uh, here is a uh, here is a jar of my um, yellow scotch bonnet, Jamaican scotch bonnet uh, puree or mash, fresh mash that I have. This is just uh, ground up with a little bit of garlic and uh, vinegar, and the aroma on this, you know, it smells it smells like this. All right, well, I'm going to quit stalling. Let's see, um, show you what this looks like. Angry Goat Pepper Company's Hot Cock. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This looks like liquid sunshine. All right, nice big spoonful. That should be enough. Here we go. Mm. Wow. Woo! Beautiful flavor. Salted perfectly. Now I can tell that, you know, the peaches and the, um, it's going to be a little bit hard to talk, the peaches and the agave nectar just kind of just sweeten it up just a little bit. Not too much, not not overdone. But wow, you get that fresh, whoo, blast of um, super hot pepper flavor, that chinensi uh, super hot um taste. Wow, this kind of takes your breath away. All over immediate, fiery, super hot burn. Um, very smooth tasting. Uh, just really, really good. Um, gonna wait a little while on this one. I'm gonna see if I can pick up, you know, kind of getting a little bit of sweetness there, you know, from that peaches and that agave. Warming me up all the way down here. Now, this is the type of hot sauce, if you're going to do a spoonful, you definitely need to do it on a full stomach, which is what I made sure that I did. Um, tearing up a little bit. Yeah, beautiful flavor on this stuff. <clears throat> wow. Nice aftertaste. It doesn't taste bitter. Now, another thing, <clears throat> excuse me, when you put that many super hot peppers in a hot sauce, you know, a lot of times it can come across as bitter. Jason, you did an awesome job on really showcasing the flavor of these peppers um, and doing it in a way that it doesn't come across as bitter um, but you're really getting that upfront flavor of those peppers I think that peaches and agave really kind of uh, took the edge off a little bit not on the heat but on that maybe sometime the sharp sharpness that can come from that high concentration from uh, super hot peppers um, an enjoyable burn um, for the chili head, you're just absolutely going to love this. You know, this is the type of hot sauce I think would really be good on fried fish. Um, the fish tacos, it's awesome. Um, here's a picture of me putting this on some fried eggs in the morning. Uh, breakfast is one of my favorite meals, and so I just really enjoy hot sauces on, a, uh, on eggs in the morning. Also on my breakfast sandwich. Very, very good. Um, a little bit on the back of the throat, um, nothing too painful, just an all over stingy, a little bit stingy, super hot oven type heat all over, kind of coating the back of the throat just a little bit, but nothing too severe, nothing too, um, uh, you know, not throbbing or anything like that, not nowhere near as hot as, you know, eating a, a fresh super hot pepper, but um, awesome job on this one. Flavor. I'm going to give this a strong 9 out of 10 for flavor. If you love the flavor of yellow super hots, um, you're absolutely going to really dig this sauce. Once again, I like the <clears throat> once again, I like the fact that you didn't um, Jason, you didn't put a lot of other ingredients in there to uh, spice it up or have different flavors, but you really just are showcasing these uh, yellow peppers. Just awesome job. Heat um, I think I'm just going to go, I was thinking, you know, 8 or 9 out of 10. It's definitely up there. Um, it's not the hottest hot sauce I've had, but it's definitely up there. You know, it, it gives you that blistering heat, blistering mouth burn. Um, so I think I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for heat. Uh, double 9s on this one, guys. 9 out of 10 uh, for flavor. 9 out of 10 for heat on the new one from Angry Goat Pepper Company. Hot Cock, the first in their uh, Forbidden series that will uh, be... A total of four sauces in this series, so make sure you stay tuned for these reviews. Check them out on Facebook, give them a like, and the website is Angry Goat Pepper Co. 
dot com. So make sure you check this stuff out. It is on the website. Jason, Roberta, thank you so much for letting me review this one. I do appreciate it. And everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for lots more reviews. And until the next time, enjoy the burn like I'm going to do with this one. We'll see you guys later.